Today is the uh, 17th, Thursday. We're going to be celebrating uh, Thanksgiving on this coming Saturday. As I mentioned in my last video, uh, Karen and I have our anniversary next weekend, and so we thought we'd celebrate this weekend since Thanksgiving isn't really a holiday in Germany anyway. It uh, doesn't make much, a whole lot of difference. And this was a day that uh, our guests we invited the natives in, in true Thanksgiving uh, tradition. Um, we, that this was a date that our guests could all come, so uh, we're going to have it yet on this coming Saturday. <clears throat> I thought I'd show you out the window here the way things look in mid-end of November here in central Germany. Leaves are all on the ground. We don't bother picking up the the willow leaves. Uh, it's a good day to be inside and be working inside. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'm going to show you um, what I'm doing. It's new to me. I have some new, I have this copper. You know, you've seen probably much of this copper um, cookware we use. And I want to polish it. We've cleaned the whole kitchen. Here's my, here's my cat. Here's my cat. That's Valentino. And uh, <clears throat> he's probably interested in those chicken legs that I've just uh, roasted over there. I've got a um, turkey leg in the oven to, uh, that I'm going to use to make gravy. I, I make the gravy ahead of time. But here, as I was saying, I have these copper pots, and I want to polish them, and I, it's a kind of a, uh, well, you can imagine, it's just a lot of work, but there's, I have a new copper polish. It's in this box over here, and um, um, I have no idea how it works. I mean, I know how to use it, but I don't know how, how well it works. And uh, I think I will, uh, Give it a try today. You just mix it with a little water, make kind of a paste with it, and you smear it onto the onto the uh, copper utensils. And theoretically, then they get um, all bright and shiny. So I'm going to mix it up, and we'll see how it works. Okay, I've tried to aim you down here so that you can see what I'm seeing when I'm at a close distance like this. It says to put a couple of tablespoons of this powder in a plastic bin or container of some kind. I'll use a little more. <coughs> it's very fine powder. It's uh, copper polishes are by nature acidic, so I'm wearing I'm wearing gloves. I uh, need something to... Probably too much water. Oh yeah, it's too thin. Yeah, that happens very quickly. Unfortunately, but I'm going to need more than that anyway with all the stuff I have to do here, so I'll just, I'll just add more. Now we'll see how that works, and then we'll take a sponge. It says to use a brush or a sponge or a cloth. And we'll start with this here. And apparently, you just um, you just smear it on. I have degreased these pans, by the way. That's that's important because no kind of polish can work if there's grease on them. So, and it says theoretically you can just wipe it off again, but I'm going to let them. Um, it says you can let them it for a, up to 10 minutes with this stuff on. 
you can probably see that it um, it has already pretty much done its job. I think I will actually, I will just take that off there. Well, it does look good. It doesn't, it's not like polishing, of course. You don't take the scratches out. But um, this is cookware. This is stuff we use. So that's fine as far as I'm concerned. I'll dry that off. Let's get one of these big ones here. This is a, this is a wonderful um, kettle. It's actually called a kettle. It's for um, for beating eggs, and it's unlike the others. It's copper inside. That is, you cook, you use the copper direct. going to need a little more time from the looks of it. It's got some stains on it that don't seem to be coming off. I wonder if this, I don't think I've ever cleaned this one before. We use it quite often, but it doesn't get heated or anything, so it, generally it doesn't need much um, care, but I did want to clean it up. Hmm. I may have to actually use uh, an abrasive polish on it. See, it's, it's copper inside too. And the copper ions uh, have an effect on egg white. <clears throat> I did say beating eggs, didn't I? Anyway, you put the egg whites in there <clears throat> and use a wire whisk, a couple of uh, grains of salt and uh, the egg whites whip up in just a very short period of time. Very nice. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that sit for a while. This one sit a while too. It looks like it needs. I can just get some of this powder. Yeah, this is going to have to sit for a while too. Okay, I'm going to shut you off here. Well, it's not, it's not difficult to be pleased with those results, is it? Wow, that looks very nice. That looks very good. I'm very pleased with that. The trick is, of course, to leave it on for five minutes or so, and then wipe it off or rinse it off. Very nice. I won't do the inside. <coughs> Sorry. Very good. That's very nice. So,
All right, well, I think you can see just as I see now, this new copper polish works very well. Copper cleaner, I have to say, not, it's not polish. Well, I'm pleased with these results. It's about a half an hour work, or maybe three quarters of an hour, but it uh, paid off, looks nice. I've got the kitchen all cleaned up now, and um, ready for the big cook, cook blast. I've got a pot full of gorgeous turkey stock cooking here. And I'm going to have a, an espresso and sit down for a few minutes. I've got a lot of vacuuming and other work to do yet, but um, I'm going to have to take a little break right now. Thanks for watching. That'll be all for this video.